2K Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Golf Club Championship is about to start. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. Hi, I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam. It's been great to have your company here. And Rich, we're into the final round now. What's our next player dealing with as they get it underway? Even with this massive lead, there is no lead large enough, I have to say. It's a very uncomfortable situation because there's only one place to go, and that's down. So this player has got to be aware of that, go out and try and play as rock solid the first three or four holes as humanly possible to continue that lead. Well, that's enough from me. It's time to pull the trigger. Let's get down to the course. Luke, that's a stonking drive. Second shot here on the first. Oh! Dialed in on that one. Uh, great shot. Always nice when you can just go ahead and tap one in for birdie. After that hole, this player is currently in first place with Colin Morikawa in second. And this is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. That is right down the sprinkler line. Second shot on the second. Looks like they've got the five wood. They're going with a bit more club here. Let's see if it was the right call. Not bad. And Henny, what are they looking at here? Yeah, guys, he's looking at around 17 feet. Surely it's going to. Just didn't drop. Right on four feet. Should make this one. This for back-to-back -back birdies. Let's head over to the fourth hole. Let's catch up with Will Zalatoris. How close was that to going down? Beauty of a chip shot there. Great touch. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. A split green here. It is difficult to make birdie twos, but par threes should be had. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. This one is right down the pipe. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. This one's for birdie. Just building upon his advantage, he keeps making the important plays. That is definitely a confidence builder. And now that finds him in first place. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Always positive coming off a of birdie. Let's see what happens here. Almost every player in the field will be going for this green. Where do you hit it? Front right part of the green is the perfect target. Missing it to the left in the bunker or long and right. That is not good.
Great drive here. Can it make it to the green? Well, they got after that one right up near the surface. Good play. Nearly finding the dance floor there. Luke off the tee. Great stuff. So much easier when you roll like that, isn't it? Love watching this player around the greens. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Hey guys, we're checking in with Will Zalatoris as he gets set for his next shot here on the sixth. And let's see what that shot did to the leaderboard. This has to be one of the more difficult holes in golf. The long par four. Dog legs from right to left. The big danger here is the green. Three different tiers on this green. Find the correct one. You'll have a birdie opportunity. Miss it, and it's going to be a difficult two putt. Well, this should find the short grass. <laughs> Setting up here, coming off a run of birdies. I tell you what, they're set up quite nicely through the first opening holes. Birdies galore. And choosing the eight iron here. He's got this thing dialed in here, looking good. And hitting yet another green here today. Another green in regulation. This is an absolute clinic. Now, this is a challenging one. A lengthy putt awaits. Get in. That's outstanding. What a putt. Just a four-footer remaining. He's staring down a birdie putt here. Mark it down. That's birdie number five. Oh, that settles the nerves right there. Great stuff. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Bunkers down the right-hand side are a nuisance. The pond fronting the left part of the green should not come into play if players find the fairway off their tee shots. Second shot to a very flat green. You can get it close, but still difficult on this long par four. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? Yeah, I think he's got around 135. Woo, back there, horsey. Ooh. Man, oh man, from way downtown, hits the flag. Wow, showing Will Zalatoris that this rivalry is indeed not to be taken lightly. Well, with that good play, this person is now in first on the leaderboard with Colin Morikawa in second. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. Par five, and only the long players can reach in two. Find the fairway, then make a decision. Do I go over the large bunker 100 yards away, or do I lay back of it? Either way, you must make a par five here because birdies will be had by the big hitters. That a boy. Good shot. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, that was tidy. That should ensure the up and down. 
judging it beautifully. Johnny Mack, what's the news? Hey guys, we're checking in with Will Zalatoris as he gets set for his next shot here on the ninth. Looking really good. Yes, they've made it. And after that effort, that's how it looks. Now on the tee after a birdie, fired up and ready for more. Par three and a diabolical green to say the least. The left-hand side sits much higher than the right-hand side and the green is usually very firm. A tough ask. A great shot here at the eighth and a chance for birdie. Three feet to go here to the hole. John, give us a small update. Hey, guys, we're checking in with Will Zalatoris as he gets set for his next shot here on the 10th. How good was that bunker shot? Let's take a look at the leaderboard. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. Ninth hole, bunkers down the left, will not come into play. And this green sits below the players on their second shot. We have seen birdies made here in the past, but they are really difficult to come by. Good shot there. It's a fairway finder for sure. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? I'd say he's about 165 from this flag. Going with the seven. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. That gets the job done. It's a lofty position this player has held all tournament, but what a buffer they've built with just nine to play. <laughs> so impressive all week long. I got to say, this player is on top of the golfing world at the moment. Let's see what happens here at the 10th hole. Par four straight away. A hole that is simple and difficult, all in the same breath. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. This shot from 120 yards. This looks to be heading to the green. A wonderful shot and a chance for birdie here on the 10th. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? This is downhill. Can't be too bold. Ooh, right by the hole. Big putt for par coming up. Unable to take advantage of the great approach there, Rich. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. And this is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. What a shot. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. 
Hey guys, we're checking in with Will Zalatoris as he gets set for his next shot here on the 13th. Ouch, that hurts. That'll sting a bit. Just outside 10 feet to the hole here, right on 11 feet to be exact. This is what they have left for birdie here. Ooh. And this putt coming up for his par. Currently in first position. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Now teeing off on the 12th hole. Par four, 510 yards. Good luck, you'll need it. <laughs> Nicely done. Opting for the hybrid, I think. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. This putt is from 14 feet. Just missed. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. John, talk to us. What do you got for us? Hey, guys, we're checking in with Will Zalatoris as he gets set for his next shot here on the 14th. Wow. That was handy holding out from there. All over the parking lot, but a chip in for par saves the day. Let's take a look at the current standings. They say the 13th is an unlucky number, but I don't see it for you. The tee is yours. Par four, back up the hill, 447 yards. This is an adventure-filled par four. What are we looking at here, Henny? Setting up here from about 155. Going with the nine iron, I think. Good sounding strike, that one. Oh, that's a great shot. And sets up a birdie look here at the 13th. And they've been rolling the ball great today. Another great look. Oh, a nine-foot chance here. That's half a chance of being hold, this one. Well, that'll play. After that hole, this player is currently in first place, with Colin Morikawa in second. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. All right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14th. Fairway sweeps from right to left down the hill. Should you find the fairway, you'll have a decent look at finding the green in two. But I've got to say, it is a difficult par four, and you'd be happy to walk away with that score. Going with the hybrid. 
Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. That's not the shot they were after. Not too sure what happened there. That's a very uncharacteristic mistake. Time to turn our attention to Will Zalatoris. That was clinical. Beautifully played. Nothing like it. Good stuff. Let's return to live play now. Found the green side rough. Still, not a bad spot. Well, that's very crafty, isn't it? Gotta say, his short game is phenomenal. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. And this is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage, advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. Next up is a par four. Always a stern test. Par four, 421 yards, a seemingly simple par four. and playing this one from around 120 yards out. Should find the green. Outstanding shot, high quality. This putt is of nine feet. Little birdie look in here. This one's looking good. Oh, that's a ripper. What a great feeling being that far ahead with just four to play. Well, with that good play, this person is now in first on the leaderboard with Colin Morikawa in second. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. Teeing off here on the 16th hole. Par three. I don't need to mention the water on the left-hand side. It speaks for itself. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Come on, get down. Well, there's a very good reason why he's leading this tournament, and that's Exhibit A. John, what's going on out there? Hey, guys, we're checking in with Will Zalatoris as he gets set for his next shot here on the 18th. Let's catch up with the current proceedings. They're lining up the birdie putt here. Well played. And I like it. Two in a row. He sits in first position. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. Looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot. Severe dog leg from right to left. Second shot down the hill to a very narrow green. Oh, that's piped. That's heading down the runway. Second shot here on the 17th hole. A wonderful shot and a chance for Booty here on the 17th. Gotta like their chances from there. Looking really good, this one. Always nice to hold those for a birdie.
managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Well, what a lovely position to be in, holding the lead, playing the last. Good luck. Wow, that was just striped. Well, this is a little bit of a birdie blitz going on from the player. Can they make another? Oh, no better feeling than to finish the round off with a bunch of birdies. Let's see if they can keep up for the next couple of holes. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. Left yourself an opportunity. This putt for him to win the event. Come on, ball, don't... Oh, that's a beauty. What a way to cap off a victory. Having to build another basement, Luke. He's racking up the hardware. Ooh, that was a touch of class. Wouldn't mind seeing that again. I could watch this one all day. Who would have thought that would go in? Well, Rich, after that hot start, it's probably little surprise that this player powered through to victory. Luke, it's always fun to see a player when they are in full flight as they were this week. It was a blast to watch. Unbelievable job all around. On behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at 2K Sports, thanks for tuning in and see you next time.